Hi everyone, before we start glazing, I want us to understand how the glazes work. So we have 12 different colors of glazes and this is what they will look like after they have gone into the kiln. You will see that there is a number on each of the examples. That is to tell you which bottle to take the glaze from. Because for example, this is glaze number one, even though it looks like this in the bottle, it turns into this after it has gone into the kiln. So when you're picking your colors, I want you to pick from this, from all of the different little circles, instead of what looks what it looks like in the bottle. The other thing that I want you to understand is that you have to put a couple different layers of glaze down of the same color. This is what it looks like when you paint one layer of that glaze down. This is what it looks like if you add a second layer of that glaze right on top of it. That looks pretty good. This one, the first one looks much lighter. And then lastly, if you put a third layer of the glaze on top of it, it will look the darkest. So you should put at least two or three layers of glazes down um, in order to get a nice dark color. So you'll brush it on, let it dry, brush it on at least once more. Hello, second grade. I hope that you are excited to glaze your clay pumpkins today. So your pumpkins have gone into the kiln once. You're gonna notice that they are much harder. They have also turned more of a whitish color and that's how you know that they have gone into the kiln for that first time. Since that has happened, it is time to glaze them. So the materials that I have to do that today, of course, we have your project. I have a small paintbrush, a metal paint palette. That's what we're gonna to pour the glazes into a paper towel and a cup of water. So when you have chosen the colors that you want to use for your project, and I am going to admit I'm having a very difficult time designing today, but I think I'm going to go uh, with the classic Kusama yellow and black today. Um, when you have decided which colors you're going to use. You're going to start by pouring just a little bit into your paint palette. You don't need much and we don't want to waste them. You can always add more in here. So I'm going to start with the yellow color for my base. Um, and then you're going to take your brush and you are going to glaze, uh, brush the glaze on, excuse me. Make sure that you're getting it Oh, ignore the bell. Make sure that you're getting it into any of the little uh, lines and creases that we have added in there. And remember, you want to brush it on once, let it dry, brush it on a second time. The glazes dry super quickly. One other thing before I continue, when you're ready to switch to a different color, you want to take your brush and you do want to clean it off in your water cup just like you normally would but we don't want our glazes to get too watery. So definitely just dry your bristles off on a paper towel. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish glazing mine and I'll catch up with you in just a moment. All right, everyone, my dots are still drying, but you can see I have gone and glazed my pumpkin and I'm super excited to see how it turns out. Uh, a little hint, if you wanna flip your paintbrush over and use the end in order to create your dots neatly, you can do that. Just wipe it off when you are done. Um, so now that the when the glazing is done for each of the pumpkins, they're going to go back into the kiln so the colors can get a little bit darker, a little bit deeper, and then we'll have that nice shiny surface. I can't wait to see how they turn out and I hope that you're excited too. Great job everybody!